What's going on, Wolfpack Nation? Thank you all so much again for t- joining us today. We have uh, exciting episodes. We have uh, one of our giveaway winners uh, joining us today, Alex Gunner. Alex, hope you're doing well today, my friend. Man, doing fantastic. Couldn't be better. Really happy to be here. Yeah, no, congratulations again. And, uh, you know, obviously we're excited. Just, you know, again, just like what we say in our bio, we're just some state fans here just talking NC State stuff. And so, hey, Love it. you know, it's it's always cool to have, you know, just another state fan just join us to talk state stuff you know it's yeah. <laughs> it's 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 basic stuff you want to prepare for it, you just do it so yeah. so <laughs> so especially with today's day and age you know i mean there's just always so much to talk about so which is you know good and bad but you know it, it's it's part of the gig so you, you know what you're signing up for when you're when you become become a state fan right so <laughs> i'll tell you what that's that's the truth yeah yeah so so first of all i mean just kind of give a little bit of background about yourself Alex. so you know where you where are you from? You know, what's your background with NC State? You know, yeah. all that jazz. Sure thing. So uh, I'm from Charlotte. Uh, grew up in Charlotte. I actually live here now. Um, but I went to NC State, graduated in 03. Um, I managed to work in an extra semester in the fall just so I could see, you know, convince myself that it's worth it to, to stay that last fall to see Philip play as a uh, his last semester mm-hmm. as a, uh, you know, on, on our squad. Yep. Um, so it was, it was awesome. That was definitely a fun semester because I only had a few classes left and it was just more of, you know, getting through them, going through the motions um, and being able to stick around for the football game or for, for the football season. So that was, mm-hmm. that was a lot of fun being there during the Phil River era um, with Chuck Amato. Oh yeah. I really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just seeing this Carter Finley grow. I mean, I know, Chuck kind of, you know, his his um, fire fizzled a little bit, uh, a little towards the end of his tenure. But man, he brought in a ton of money, and it kind of brought us, um, you know, new life. I feel like to the program. Um, mm-hmm. Phil Rivers just a, just a BA. Uh, he was just an awesome guy, <laughs> and um, so I, I loved it. Um, I lived in Raleigh for a few years afterwards, and um, eventually just moved back to Charlotte. But uh, I, I I miss Raleigh. I love the city itself. I mean, it's such like it's like a small town in a big, in a oh, big yeah. city. And mm-hmm. uh, but man, you know, I guess the hard part has been in Charlotte, just getting up the games. It's just tough, but you know, do what you can. But when I was yep. there, man, I have like four years after I graduated, I, you know, I've tried to go to as many games as I could, basketball and football. So mm-hmm. it was good stuff. You, but oh, yeah. I'm in Charlotte, married, got a couple kids, got a seven year old, year uh, one and a half year old, and. Two boys. They're keeping me on my toes. Uh, I'm constantly tired. Nice. (laughs) What did you What uh, What did you uh, major in at NC State? Uh, You know, I went to an engineering school to study in business. Uh, It's kind of how funny how that works out that way, right? (laughs) Engineering school to do business. I hear you. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, but it's kind of funny. Like my both my parents went to Chapel Hill, and uh, I've. (laughs) So it's kind of like the sore thumb that went to state, but I, I have zero regrets. It's the best thing oh, yeah. I've ever made. You know, it's funny. My my uh, mm-hmm. my parents. I have a split household. My dad went to state. Mom went to Carolina. I went to state. My sister went to Carolina. My brother is going to graduate in December <clears throat> from state uh, with a construction yeah. <laughs> from state. And th- so all the guys went yeah. to Car- state. All the girls in Carolina. And uh, I'll tell you, my mom in particular. She's mentioned to me when she's put all of her kids through school. She said. She, you know, she's had much better experience and impressed with how NC State has taken care of nice. my brother relative to Carolina. I mean, Carolina's obviously a really good school for doctors and art, you know, the arts and that kind of thing. But um, at least as far as how they welcome, she was very impressed. That's that's, that's cool. You went there and your your family is all Carolina. It's just kind of similar to oh, my yeah. family. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. well. I mean, and, and my wife, she went to Chapel Hill, so I'm, I'm I've actually been into it. And for the first, geez seven or eight years we were together i mean we would not watch a state carolina game <laughs> if you're in the same room and that's usually funny. not even in the same house i mean i would go to a friend's house or she would go somewhere i just couldn't do it that's appropriate i, mean, I would just get so that's angry. appropriate yeah mm-hmm. especially with basketball yeah. you know football is like all right basketball is just uh it's just a little frustrating <laughs> so i'd have to go yeah. and drink some beers with my boys yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we'll get into that. Don't you worry. But, but one yeah. kind of first say, I mean, you know, one of the things I've definitely loved that state has done is, is really, it seems like really push for uh, coach Amato to, 
be around and be in the program and be, mm-hmm. you know, just, just, just be around, you know, like I saw like this weekend or this past weekend at the, uh, uh, the Furman game that he was there and like, you know, they had him do, uh, um, you know, the, the booze, uh, you know, stop drinking and driving uh, commercial or whatever, which yeah. was cool. Um, you know, it's because at the end of the day, it's great that, that it just really solidifies at the end of the day. It's, it's, it's obvious that we didn't fire him necessarily because we wanted to, it's just because, unfortunately it's just we had to we just had to have a change of pace but i mean we loved i mean st- there's no doubt fans loved him the, the university loves him and i mean you know he's one of the the biggest names that or one of the i wouldn't say the biggest name in terms of like famous but in terms of like every state fan knows chuck amato yeah. like you know like you know, yeah. every state fan knows yeah. chuck amato <laughs> yes chuck the chest chuck yeah. the chest. glasses he had the whole he had the whole persona you know is yeah. he still yeah. coaching yeah. anywhere or no is he retired now no no, he's retired now. Um, Didn't but, he? He uh, went to Florida State yeah. after NC State as an assistant, right? Yeah, for a while. Yeah, he was linebackers coach there for a while. Mm-hmm. While for the, I would say like the end, towards the end of Bobby Bowden's career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then he went to somewhere else, some smaller school. But yeah, I think I know. I know UNC Charlotte had uh, reached out to him to come coach mm-hmm. for like you know be their inaugural coach, but he ended wow. up turning it down. Just he's like, I'm just too old to get into a brand new program. I think is what his words were, something like that. Wow. But he was flattered. I think he said to get the offer. That's kind of a neat fact. I didn't know that. that yeah, yeah that, yeah, that would send shivers up state fan spines for sure. I mean, that'd be like I don't think really? state fans would hate it though. It'd be like no, no, no. Okay. but just like but just like whoa, okay, yeah, wow. yeah, right. That's crazy. You didn't so, see that coming, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. So, but now kind of talking a little bit, uh, you know, because we're going to fit this part in right before the, uh, the Clemson game. So, uh, got to talk about it. So, what are your thoughts? How you feeling? Are you going to be there in person? Like, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah. So, I, as of now, I'm, I'm not going to be there in person. Oh, uh, okay. The, 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 Little kids make it hard. Yeah, yeah I, hear oh, I'm you. Sure. Uh, I, I know a bunch of people that have been have like have a hard time getting the games. I used to live in Virginia, and it was hard. I'm not. I'm not. I was not married at the time. Not, no kids, and it was hard for me. So I totally understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, no, I have, I have. I have some buddies of mine that are going up there from Charlotte. So if I can talk my talk a better half into it, I may be able to sneak the uh, seven year old up there for, for for the game. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, cool. But I mean, regardless, I'll be watching it either on the TV or in person. But I, I'd have to say the odds are it'll be on the tube. But, mm-hmm. you know, I, I got to say, I know that, uh, you know, two games ago against um, Mississippi, that was that was that was tough. Uh, but we looked good last week. I know it was Furman. And I think we just God, we came up so flat two weeks ago. And it was just so annoying seeing that. But I think that we have the talent. To, to win this weekend. I don't think Clemson's offense looks that good. Uh, their defense looks a little suspect too, uh, but definitely their offense is not firing all cylinders. Um, I, I We're playing at home. I, I just don't see how we can't pull it off this weekend. I, I definitely think it's a possibility. Um, mm-hmm. I, I put this, I like our chances. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, yep. I would tend to agree because my thought was, is when has Clemson looked this vulnerable in a long time? Yeah. And right. when has State been this talented in a long time? Mm-hmm. Um, it hurts that you don't have Peyton Wilson, but I won't say that. Oh, we're right. we, you know, we're not going to win just because of one guy. Uh, actually, yeah. two guys because you don't have Cyrus Fagan. But you know, I tend to like our chances. I'm not going to. If I were betting on it, which I'm not, I don't really bet. But if I were, I would probably still not bet on NC State. But I would probably bet for them to at least cover because, you know. I just think I think it's going to be a really interesting game. It'll be Clemson's first true road game, yeah. too. Right. So, I mean, you saw I know everybody's high on Carolina and some of these other teams out there in the country that are really good that have had their first road games did not fare very well. I'm just I think it'll be very interesting, rowdy crowd and really fun mm-hmm. to watch. Yep. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dressup Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dressup protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dressup. 
You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. So, uh, and, and you know, and, and one of the things, Alex, I wanted to ask, I mean, so, I mean, what, what are your overall predictions for the season? You know, I mean, I know that necessarily, you know, you can kind of throw Clemson in there, but I mean, like, I mean, you know, what do you see kind of record wise, you know, what do you see us losing to like, what are your thoughts? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, <laughs> typical Wolfpack, right. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I can see us winning this weekend. Yeah. Right. Um, sure. Uh, I, I could see us, you know, it's what we do every year. We're good at it. We, we, we have a huge win and then we lay an egg to Wake Forest or yep. we lay an egg to Duke or lay an egg to whomever. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's our mantra, but, um, you know, just if, if Dave Doran can rally the troops, I, you know, I, I can see us. I can see us with eight wins. I, I definitely think that's a possibility, even nine wins. I mean, looking at the schedule, there's a, there's a lot of winnable games out there. Um, I mean, Carolina, they don't look as tough as they, everyone said they were going to be at the beginning of the year. Everyone had them, you know, slated as, you know, you know, Oh, the, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, but, I know. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but I mean, their, their offense, yeah, they, they put up a ton of yards against Virginia, but mm-hmm. their, their defense gave up. A ton of yards. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was it was not great point. And so you know, it, it, I think it's just a matter of durability. I don't think we can withstand a whole lot of more injuries on the team. We do have a lot of talent, um, but if we can stay healthy, you know, I I, I, I I could definitely see us. I mean, I think we have a legitimate shot mm-hmm. at winning the division. Legitimate shot, but we just can't shoot ourselves in the foot. And you know, it's just notorious as we are for that. You know, like there's some a lot of times you you see the path, it's there. It's just come on, guys. You can yeah. Make it. And then you trip, we just trip over ourselves. Um. Yeah. So you know, along as long as we don't do that, I can definitely see ourselves winning the division. And who knows? Um. Who who knows where that'll take us? I mean, I'll just be excited to finally get in a damn championship game. Um. And just see where that mm-hmm. takes us. Well, no, I mean, just the only only thing which I wanted to add is, I mean, that. It's it's with this year the thing that just it just just kind of I guess I just keep going through my head about is that at the end of the day with this season I feel like all the cards are in line. First of all, being yeah. that now you now Clemson and Carolina you could say are our two toughest games left. They're both at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and then you know Miami, who we were really worried about, they're really struggling. Yeah, Man, they're really struggling. And yes, they are and, Florida uh, State's really struggling. And, Florida State. Well, and then like and then Boston College, as much as it I mean, they looked really good, but now Phil Jakovic's out for the season. So I mean they're gonna be pretty much just hoping for a bowl game this year now without him. So it's just like what's not like I feel like this this season's set up too perfectly for Doran to not take advantage. Like that that's that's why for me <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, you know, I, I just I, I really do think this is a big thing, but making go ahead, brother. Now, I'm just curious, you know, generally speaking, would you, Alex, would you consider yourself an optimistic state fan or a pessimistic state fan? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, you know, it it's it's evolved over the years. <laughs> it changes all the time. Uh, it changes all the time. You know, I, I joke with my friends, like, state is notorious for building you up just to crush you down. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but no, I am optimistic, but you know, I, I think I, I've kind of let off the gas a little bit on my optimism and with more with just trying to be like, all right. Cause I know if I get my hopes up, I'm just going to get crushed. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm a huge Wolfpack fan. Diehard. I catch, as many games as I can, you know, at least on TV, you know, and I, and, and I try to make it a rally when I can to go see them in person. Yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah. But really, it's um, geez, I, I would definitely say I'm optimistic, but like I said, I mean, it, it's just trying to put some more uh, boundaries around that optimism. Yeah. It's a good way <laughs> to put some more it. check, not... some more checkpoints along the yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I find myself all the time like I'm watching <clears throat> watching the game. You know, and, and it's like if we're not up by two touchdowns going to the fourth quarter, 
kind of like, oh man, could, do do I have it in me to stomach this, this fourth quarter, or do I just turn yeah. this off and just yeah. and just wait and check on my phone? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm checking on my phone like every refresh, refresh, yeah. refresh. So mm-hmm. I feel like it's just less stressful, even though I think I'm creating more stress by doing it that way. But yeah, I don't know. You, you know, you, everyone has their superstitions and mm-hmm. whatnot, but mm-hmm. um. I, I, yeah, that I, I was, I was a long-winded answer to your question. <laughs> no, uh, it answers it. It answers it. Yeah, I, I would say it's definitely optimistic, but it's it's a little more a little more ease on the optimism. Just like, all right, all right, let's just take this one game yeah. at a time. Right. See where it goes. Yeah. See yep. what happens. Um, fun so, fact: the uh, but just, the last six matchups between Clemson and NC State, the winner has won the ACC championship. So there's that. That's right. <laughs> I saw a lighter red post that. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, so that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, hey, this this might decide it all right here. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> that's a great. That's a great stat. <laughs> so, so to kind of keep it simple, though, so who would you say is your favorite NC State football player ever on the on ever ever? I mean, Phil Rivers. Yeah, it's got. I mean, okay. he, wrote, he was in college. Ever. He was in college. Okay, that's true. Play. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I had classes with him. Yeah, I really. Mean, it was, yeah. I okay. mean, because he he took he took business classes, so I had a couple classes with him. Um, got yeah. I mean, he's like I said, he's a really nice guy. I mean, people ask for autographs, he had no problem. Yeah, man, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, think about it. By the time he graduated uh, college, he was married and already had two kids. Uh, yep. I mean, it's insane. <laughs> I mean, what he has like nine now, but yeah, yeah nine. Um, but I don't know, man. I just love his attitude. I mean, he's just such a winner. I mean, just such. I don't know. I just love his charisma and his. And his I just never give up attitude. Yeah, but but here, let me try and 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 see challenge you to see if you can be as non biased as possible. Do you think Philip? Okay. Rivers, do you think Philip Rivers belongs in the Hall of Fame? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Completely non biased. Non biased. I think he <laughs> has see- the stats for it. But I don't think he has enough big wins. I think it's going to be, I think he's going to be one of those guys that kind of like on the ballot year after year. Yeah. And I really think it's a coin flip whether or not he gets in. Um, yeah. Should he get in? Looking at solely looking at his stats, you can yeah. say that. Mm-hmm. But I think like just he, he's had such a long career, he's put up so many yards. But you know, going back, looking back to you know the Schottenheimer games and whatnot. I mean, it wouldn't I wouldn't put it on the fault solely on his shoulders, but when they had LT, um, God, they were, they were really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm just cannot believe they never made it the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. and I think that is going to hurt him, hurt his chances of getting in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if he got into the Super Bowl at least once, yeah. you know, then, then maybe, um, maybe it'd be, uh, you know, maybe two out of three times he'd get in. But right now I definitely say it's just a coin flip. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I think the first thing that needs to happen is I think the chargers need to retire, his jersey for sure. I mean, that yeah. dude is 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 one of the great tr- Chargers of all time. So uh, yeah, I think that's first thing. But I mean, for me honestly, I would say Tory Holt should. I mean, Tory Holt like, should be yeah. first. What I'm opinion. getting at is though, if he's having a hard time getting in and he's won a Super Bowl, yeah, that's true. How much harder is it yeah. going to be for Philip Rivers, who's who's going to always be compared to Eli and Ben Roethlisberger, who yep. both won? Yeah, yep. they don't Multiple. have the stats like. They don't have the stats like Rivers has, but yeah, they don't. They have the they have the really big one that matters, and it's the ring. A couple so, of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, two, yeah. Each of them have two. Yeah, each so, of them have yeah. two. That's it. So, but uh, and, and then you know one question which I I know before the show uh, I asked you Alex to send me some questions, and so I had to ask this one here <laughs> yeah. to, to kind of uh, to kind of round this part out because I thought it was kind of fun. So so would you put your kids? Through the torment of being an NC State <laughs> fan, man, great question. And, and, and the reason why I put that put that down because I, mean, yeah, I thought that's of a it, great but, uh, question. Whoever asked that question, my dad yeah. did it to me. So, yeah. but no, but I joke with my friends. I mean, my brother, my state, you know, my state buddies and stuff. Like the guys I went to college with. I mean, we're always like, do we do this? <laughs> do we put our kids through this torment, or do we just level set expectations like? All right, guys, just so you know, it's going to make you a better person in the long run. Like, you're going to get your hopes built it builds up. builds character. You're going to get your hope. Yeah, it's going to build character. You're going to be a better person for it. 
Um, you know, you're going to, you have a much better understanding of what it means to, to, to have your hopes crushed right in front of your eyes, <laughs> but, hey, but, it, but, it, but, it, but if you got the stomach for it, do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm all for it. I, I you know, I'm, I'm joking aside. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it'd be, um, of course. Yeah. I want my kids to be state fans. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, I think it's just going to be, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm joking aside, but it's, it's, you know, I mean, they're little things. It, there's a lot of time for, for, um, for, for them to see some good yeah. things. So was, we, we right. you know, we just got to wait and see. Yep. Yeah. No, Hey, it's, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things that, Hey, you know, hopefully by the time they come around, we finally have gotten over that, that hump of the longest eight tournament drought, you know, mm-hmm. and, and all that uh, finally get over that hump. Yeah. And, and then, you know, life can be much better for him. So, um, <laughs> uh, but, and, and, you know, but since we have a little bit more time, I'll ask you this. So would you say Alex, that we are a football school or a back to basketball school, man, Oh Lord. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's a, that is a really good question. Um, <clears throat> man, I don't know. Um, I think, I feel like we don't have a identity really with right now with, uh, you know, we have, we have the national championships with basketball. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. But we haven't done anything in 30 years. So, okay, so there's that. Football, you know, we've won a lot of ball games. You know, we've, it's been steady over the year. I mean, go, if you go back 50 years, if you look at the football. I mean, we're constantly in the mix every year. In the mix for at least, uh, you know, winning season and decent bowl game. Some years even have a chance to, you know, go to the ACC championship game or, or, or make it to, you know, a, a BCS bowl, which is now, you know, playoff game or now the playoffs. But I'd say the, over the, over the past 30 years, maybe football, um, mm-hmm. but there's so much history with the basketball yeah. that I just keep telling myself that it's going to turn around and yeah. we're, when we're going to be a basketball school again. I mean, yeah. I think if you were, if you were to ask me this question in twenty years, I, I would say we're a basketball school. Mm-hmm. I would agree. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's the you know the tradition and history there is is there for basketball, but football is where all the money comes from. So it's you know. yep. yeah, and I wouldn't really. So the thing is with North Carolina's North Carolina's known for its basketball. Yeah. So yep. yeah. and both schools. I mean, like that, that you think about it, there's like only like. 12 or 13 schools in the whole country who have multiple national championships yeah. and three of them are in within like an, you can go to every right, yeah. campuses and they are an hour and 15 minutes drive from every campus, you know, in yeah, right. Carolina. Yep. So it's a, it, to me, it's, the, it, it is a, I don't know. It, it depends on how you look at it. If you look at it solely in the eyes of, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it is tough. I think it's a good point you made, but when you think about, Beyond NC State, the better at football atmosphere, the one the school who make, puts the most pride in their football is Appalachian State. It's going to be yeah. the same thing. And, yeah, sure. and, I mean, you don't look at them. I mean, they don't have anything else except football. But That's it. But you know, and, if you want Michigan, big-time football yeah. in North Carolina, <laughs> I mean, unless you want to go do some wine and cheese at Carolina mm, and, and have half the stadium, if that, show up, <laughs> I mean, state fans matter. Like, if you want foot, they, oh, state best. to me, to me, state could be, they could just go all in on football and just yeah. do like steamroll. In my opinion, they could, yeah, they, because yeah. they have everything, else, everything, and more compared to Carolina and Duke and all that. Yeah. They, they, you know, but for basketball, man, it's just like you go look at those statues that are out there outside Reynolds. You don't have anything like that for football. So no, I mean it's just it's tough. It's just but it's like it's kind of like what could be for both. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, it's and, and <laughs> yeah, exactly. So so 
make sure uh, so thank you all so much again for tuning in make sure to put, tune in for part two as we talk a little bit more about basketball and athletics overall here with alex so thank you all so much again for tuning in please make sure to hit that subscribe button follow us at tough to talk now on twitter or instagram and uh make sure to check out all of our other great nc state content and again make sure to follow us because hey you, you could be uh uh, have an opportunity just like this to appear on an episode with us here at Tuffy Talk. See, so, see, what, happens sure so. see what happens when you follow. See what happens when you follow. See what happens. Exactly. So thank you all so much. See you all next time. It's always good pack.